continue down to the weekend. Friday. Today we are talking about <laughs> educational grants, how you can fund your education and your life with OPP. Other, other people's, people's property. Oh, wait. Not other people's profit. Property? Profit. Other people's profits. Money, hey, cash. We are here today talking about you know, cash in college. Cash in it's basically how you can turn turn from other people's profits into your own funds mm. for your own personal purposes, whether it's business, education. Today's guest is using it for a little bit of both. He is Demarcus Turner. He's, he's bringing a, a lot of resources. He's a scientist. He's an environmental scientist. And we are glad to have him here in this 60-minute talk show. We're going to interview Demarcus. We're going to have, have fun chatting with you guys in the, out there in our viewing audience. And we're going to have two great giveaways, plus our fabulous plant-based treat all along the way. But before we start, we got to sing. Let's go, let's go, let's start the show with our real talk within topic design intro. Right. It's another episode of a blind guy. It's white. 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 Everybody, I'm Corey the Blind Guy. I'm his wife, Laquita Marie. Together, we let you enter our life live every hump day. Bang, bang, bang to Friday. So, you're gonna turn down on Friday, okay? All this week, you've bang, been banging like crazy. Bang, <laughs> bang, uh, anyway, <laughs> and that's, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean turn all the way up. Brown coat blue is here, so I'm sure brown coat blue enjoyed that. So that's Wednesday. <laughs> Thursday, Friday at 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on this one-hour talk show, we have fun with you, our guests. We it's, we have two great giveaways. We also have our plant-based treat. But again, and all along the way- And we talk to you. It's a talk show. So, hey, Philip. You know, he's our favorite moderator in there greeting everybody. All along the way, we introduce you to our fabulous <laughs> guests who help to change your narrative of normal when it comes to your health. Your business. And your wealth. And again, we do have fun talking to you in our chat. So like we... Carla. Hey, Carla Turner. How you doing? We got a show opening tonight. We'll be there. She says cash and college. That's what we're talking about today. Ask questions. You can uh, make comments, chat it up in the chat. We will, we will gladly talk back to you. So absolutely. So Cassandra Dominic already has in there hashtag the home team. Corey mentioned that we do two giveaways. The first one is for first place bragging rights. That means my renaissance grandma was the first person to put her comment into the chat but audrey vanessa willis B B B yes vanessa buckner has an amazing channel showing you how to create have resources if you're like out living in a camping situation or just off grid i won't say camping camping off grid as well as uh, for plant-based treats she does a lot of those so she was first in the comments she has first place bragging rights. She has she has first place, but Audrey Willis was second. She might want first place bragging rights. That's where first place pony comes in. That is where you put in what Cassandra Dominic did or Philip Waldo Jr. Hashtag, Hashtag the, the home team. team. So Miss Judy Kiss, uh, Miss Judy Kiki, that's what you do. Greetings to you as well Thank as to Uncle G. Uncle yeah. G's audacity dawn in the house. Good morning, good morning. And to you know all. Sandra living a full life one yesterday. So Sandra make sure you living a full life in the house. Don't forget, put in hashtag the home team today. Of course, Gail at night is here dropping all of the links. So if you notice there are different links in the chat, that's because our favorite moderator, Gail at Night, is putting them in there for you. They're always in the video description, but even for our guest today and all of the resources that he's bringing, remember he's a environmental I'm a scientist. En environmental scientist. So um, I was thinking like, you know, you just think scientists, they blowing up stuff, but he's on the water. Uh, he does a lot of oceanic stuff. So anyways, he won't be blowing up anything today, but his resources for how you can get grants for college, funding for college, all of those different things. They are in the video description. Well, speaking of the video oh, description. Oh, thank you for sharing, Miss Judy Kiki. All right. Wait, no, no, no. I know we got to talk about the video description, but I'm Ghanaian today right off the top. Mm, 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 mm. Guess who's here from Ghana? Let's see where it sounds is foul. How you know? Because. <laughs> But you're also Jamaican by default. Oh, she's Jamaican too. You're so <laughs> right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get on, Corey. So speaking of uh, <laughs> the, the great information being provided in the actual description, though a lot of those resources are being provided by our guest today. Mm. So I'm going to bring Demarcus in to say good morning to everybody. Hey there, Demarcus. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. 
So, Demarcus, so how's it going with the whale chitlins? The whale chitlins, the whale chitlins are still funky. Uh, <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. No, let, me, let me clarify for the audience. You are out there doing stuff with oceanic stuff. So that means sometimes you have to dissect whales and all of that stuff. And you're like, man, I'll never look at chitlins again. However, you are financially uh, in, a, in a financially advantageous spot. You're in a really sweet spot because later on, we're going to talk about this $300,000 tip with uh, educational funding that you are on a roll with. But this, these whales and everything, are you paying to go to school right now? Are you getting paid to go to school? Tell us your financial situation. To, to... I'm pretty much getting paid to go to school and getting paid to do research. <laughs> uh, currently, I'm in the Hollins Marine, Marine Laboratory in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm working mm -hmm. under a great man, uh, Mr. Wayne McPhee, who works with mammals. And so a lot of the whales, for anybody that might be concerned, a lot of these whales have uh, been stranding on beaches and have already passed. And mm -hmm. we use their bodies uh, for research into uh, figure out sustainable ways that we can manage their environment better, manage their species better. And so, yes, we're doing some fine work here at the Hollis Marine Lab. Right. So, and and then, so you say that you're getting paid, you get a stipend. You, are you, are, is that the way it works or are they just paying for your fellowship pays for your education? No, a fellowship pays you, right? A fellowship pays me. <laughs> I'm just trying and to so, make sure I got it, all the money right. Okay, go ahead. Understood. Fellowship pays so you. In addition, in addition to funding my entire master's education, which is up to three years, they give me an annual stipend and um, all the raises that are included with it. Um, Wait, okay, so, stop. Stop right there because uh -huh. G. Albert, he's saying, hey, DeMarcus, and that's what I felt like just now when you said that a raise, because I'm like, hey, DeMarcus, a raise. Mm -hmm. How do you get a raise with a stipend? Because Mom Enoch Vlogs is listening, giving you high fives. Mm -hmm. How do you get a raise when you're getting... Okay, you said, first of all, you said your entire master program is getting paid for. Mm -hmm. And then you said, plus... You get this annual stipend. You get an annual stipend, and the stipend increases... Uh, like cost of living increases, or how does that or work? Or financial, like they give you, because look at Carla Turner, that's a mighty... <laughs> man, I bet you think so. <laughs> so, okay, get back to the cash. I just wanted to repeat for anybody that might have misunderstood. And so although I'm awarded um, the, uh, for up to three years through the program, I still have to fill out an, a contract um, annually. And so but sometimes they get electric funding where they're able to give their graduate students who have been in, um, in the program for a year or longer, uh, more funding, more money and more resources. And so that just was that raise came because it, I was going into my second year. Now I'm going into my third year. In my master's degree and so i'm hoping i get another one coming into the fall <laughs> right right well, you know what she stole my thunder is in canada listening in saying hey everyone hello to you and a happy belated birthday and we also have dr ruby i mean dr, dr. brenda from yes dr. ruby's daycare okay corey don't answer any more questions because you know philip is always saying you can see and gail earlier says stop reading the screen before you mess up your check corey <laughs> and <laughs> philip is like yeah you proved my point once again <laughs> All right, so we've got people listening in from all over the world, and they're trying to figure this thing out. So I appreciate the details. Um, I got one last question because people are here for the money, right? They really want to know. We have children graduating. I'm going to school. I want to go back to school. So you say you have to basically renew your contract. And then when you are uh, teaching, thank you so much, Gail, for dropping the links. Watch DeMarcus's microplastics presentation. Y'all know microplastics are a big thing. DeMarcus, you're a part of that research and making a difference. So back to what I was saying about the money, you say you do a contract. So basically it's sort of like working uh, and this increases your work ethic because the same way when we get a job, we work, we get a raise, we do a good job, you know, as funds increase in different places, revenue flows in the business, then that trickles down to the employees. So for you, you're not considered an employee yet, but once you do your third year contract, does this could this roll in like once you're out of school? Is that the goal for you to roll into a paid position, which means you would get paid more because you get paid more as an employee than an intern or a fellowship person? Yes, it, it means that. So what I like about the program is that it's set up to be a pipeline um, from the school, the from the classroom to the workforce. And uh, that's why I'm here at the Hollis Marine Lab now and where I'll be going in an, uh, in the next few weeks is the James J. Howard Marine Science Center. And mm. what this is allows me is to give these experiences of being a NOAA affiliate or a NOAA employee. 
and um, to build networking opportunities, to build a working relationship with some of these scientists or some of these administrators so we can develop or already have a job offer in the midst of getting our master's or doctorate degree. And so mm -hmm. those are the type of opportunities that um, NOAA, which stands for the, Na the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, they have these opportunities set up so students can already have a job set up when they graduate. Right. So I just showed that picture on the boat. So you and everybody on that boat that were smiling, um, all of you were NOAA uh, interns or fellowshipy. What, what do you call Hello. them? Oh, yes. NOAA. So that, yeah, we are. Uh, we we call ourselves in short CCME scholars. So scholars in short, it just means that you are a student that gets paid to be a student. And so um, that picture that you showed, all of those students are scholars at every different level. You had some undergrads, you had some graduate students, you had some doctorate students. Um, so a lot of this funding starts from the undergrad level all the way up to the doctoral level. And um, at least at the master's and the doctorate level, you have, uh, you know, young folks getting paid to do their research or paid to go to school, ah. um, which pretty much equates to a salary. Right. Right. And so, of course, you're saying, Noah, I did put it on the screen, your yes. profile there at Noah, because this is nice. Even as a student, you have a profile. So this way, your status starts right there. We can link to you. And uh, Mary Maripoju is listening. She's a Nigerian. They are all about the money. But she is all I'm, when I say they Nigerians are all about business, money, advancement, education, you're doing everything that she loves. She has her master's degree as well. And she's a wife and a mom. She has a YouTube channel and a YouTube course to help people learn about how they can make money in this way. So I'm sure she's excited. David Hunt, he's a dad. He has two children in college. So he's going to be excited about these resources because I know that when you were saying, when we go right here, all we have to do is click right here at the top, NOAA CCMC. I'm giving out some gems early. We're going to repeat this. This takes them to a page where they can scroll down and see other institutions to plug in for resources. So all of these different institutions here, the member institutions and the lead institution, of course, is FAMU. Their member institutions are other places where students can get opportunities for grants, fellowships. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. Mm, you know, Carla Turner is saying, wow, there's a YouTube presentation of the of Demarcus. Why am I the last one? In the world? <laughs> <laughs> she is funny. Well, you know, Brown Coat Blue is saying microplastics are so nasty, unbelievable damage to the environment. So while we got you here with Demarcus, we're going to set the tone. What are microplastics and what are you what are you studying as part of your fellowship? Wait, 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 because uh, Miriam is making sure they tell people to share. We're going to just give them a quick moment to share so that people can come in like Miss Smith 254 did. Uh, Mr. Smith, two five. Wait, is that Mr. Smith or Miss Smith? Miss Smith, probably Mr. Smith. <laughs> uh, so, of course, Miriam is saying your guest is making so much sense. I can relate. So, we do appreciate all of the information that you're giving us. So, hopefully, some people had a chance to share, answer Corey's question, and then G. Albert has a question too. So, the question is again: You mentioned microplastics. That's come up in uh, from Brown Coat Blue. Uh, what are you studying from micropla about microplastics? What are they? What are you studying? Yep, Claude how is listening, Corey. He's in Kenya. How, how and how is how is that impacting you? How is that impacting your research? How's your is research impacting micro understanding microplastics? So microplastics are exactly how it sounds. They are tiny particles that are plastic in nature and in property. And so what I'm studying right now for my thesis is a GIS or a um, mapping software that maps out microplastic hotspots within the Apalachicola Dakota watershed, which is in, in the panhandle of Florida. Mm -hmm. And so I go into the field, I sample the water column, the surface water, and I sample at the riverbed for these microplastic samples leading from the start, which is starts at Seminole Lake in Georgia, all the way down to the Apalachicola Bay that empties out into the Gulf of Mexico. And mm -hmm. so that's what I'm doing for my thesis work. What I'm doing at the Hollins Marine Lab is studying microplastics in the, in the stomachs of pygmy sperm whales. And so um, we take the time to, these are beach whales who have passed and we use their stomachs for research on how um, abundant, how concentrated or how distributed these microplastics are, which we have found in current research are very vast um, from all, what we can safely say is in all corners of the earth, from the 
Mauna Loa Trench uh, to remote areas in Antarctica. These markets. Hold on, stop. We don't, we don't, stop, stop. We don't know. Look, when, now I'm not going to say we. I am geographically uh, deficient. I don't know where that first location is. You said from the where? I said from the Mauna Loa Trench. Where I don't know exactly where it is. I want to say that it's off of Hawaii. Yeah, don't quote me on that. Because like you, I'm something. also geographically challenged. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I said South Pacific, somewhere around there. Yeah, so yeah, okay, thank you, y'all. So, Matter of so fact, I drive by the store every morning. I still got to use my GPS. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, go ahead, Corey. The last thing that you, I was going to get you to say about these microplastics, what is that? You gave an example of about this. Microplastics, you know, are all around us, and we it gets into us through foods and, and through the atmosphere, through clothing. So you said how much microplastics equivalates to about a what size the amount of microplastics that we that I would say right now, the studies show that within our bodies, the amount of microplastics equates to the amount of a credit card, about amount of a credit card would be. So um, all of us have that, about that much inside our body. On average, about that much, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, give or take uh, an amount, you know, because they are rampant and they are everywhere. You think about the single use plastics that are used to wrap food and vegetables and meat, um, the things that we use in containers, uh, um, you know, Amazon deliveries. Mind, yeah. And Amazon deliveries, the old Tupperware that you have about 25, 35 years that breaks down over time. That that uh, bottle of water that you had in that hot car sitting in the sun that breaks down over time and um, it's you know, a very new uh, level of research that is still being explored today and very little that we know now. There's so much still to learn. So basically what you're saying, and this goes into G. Albert's question, because mm -hmm. that's part of the because it's a growing problem. Like you said, we're looking at Tupperware years ago and now they've changed some plastics over to, you know, BPA and uh, mm -hmm. food grade so that it's supposed to be safer. However, uh, G. Albert is asking do you teach as well his daughter because you know that's where the funding is going that's my point to mentioning mm -hmm. it's a growing problem so they have to grow the funding in that direction which is why you've mm -hmm. been able to secure so much funding to fund your entire graduate program as well as uh be paid while doing so and get raises so g albert is saying do you teach as well my daughter is also working on her phd and she also and yes she also receives a raise a brother has to eat <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> So, Understood. Yeah. I don't more so teach uh, as I do train. So I get opportunities to train others in um, how we, the, in the sampling methods, the processes and, and analysis that we do in microplastic research, everything from the field data to the laboratory data that we collect. I'm more so trained in anything. Um, I try to teach folks about the opportunities more so, so they have the information to um reach out and make their own informed decisions about what program they want to be a part of, what advisors to have, mm -hmm. how to build their own committee within a program. Um, a lot of the information that it takes to become not just a student, but a decorated scholar. Mm. Right, right. You know, brown coat, blue core is dropping the gems. The act as endocrine, they act talking about the microplastics oh, yeah. as endocrine disruptors throughout the entire ecosystem. Mm. So, you know, the water, the land, the air, mm. because of course we know about evaporation, condensation. And so, like you said, Demarcus, there are so many things that we breathe in. So it's not even just a matter of oh, it or drinking it. Yeah, or that they're mm. in the ocean or that we've just got them littered around or in our garbage mm. cans or whatever. They're in the air. So this has been a great introduction. We were only supposed to say good morning. This has been the, one of the best good mornings and we've got people listening from all over. Like I said, Claude Joseph, he's in Kenya right now. He's actually at university. So this is good information for him to look at funding opportunities as well. They have fellowships as well there. So Demarcus, we're gonna pop you back into the virtual green room where you can enjoy some computer chips and some software software <laughs> and some virtual vino along with your wheel chip this, this morning. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. So as you all are dissect dissecting whales, uh, that's a part of your job, but it's just like any other job. You're getting mm -hmm. paid to do so. So you're like, look, y'all just go to this profile right here, click on the logo at the top, and they can find their funding opportunities as well. Is that right? Absolutely. I love it. So we'll talk to you. We'll bring you back in a few for our first place pony after I, we finish our morning topics. All right, Demarcus. 
Sounds good. All, All right, right. See you soon. Well, this broadcast is powered by StreamYard and my viewers support by members like you. you. You can be part of the Blind Guy His Wife Their Life home team by remembering to bum rush the button. Thumbs up, you all. Of course, that's the biggest vote of confidence. And we do have scrolling at the bottom of the screen, Blind Guy His Wife dot com. If you just want to see it all by itself, of course, the Blind Guy His Wife dot com. That is where you can go to get some funding opportunities for yourself, actually. And you can do that by that becoming an affiliate of the Aunt Yeah Ha! Three Little Pigs Remix. You can actually download the story for your own, own personal enjoyment, or you can sign up to be part of the affiliate program and earn up to 33%. So that means if download you're, sold. Yeah. Your affiliate link. If you're on the home page, then you can just download it. However, if you click on opportunities, the first opportunity there is to be a Three Little Pigs affiliate. Uh, easy program, and like you said, Corey, they can earn 33% of all proceeds generated for downloads through your affiliate link. Yes, yeah, so we've got some wonderful things working with PETA, who's interested in this opportunity. You can join the ranks of them as well. And we also, if you have ashy ankles, then you can actually get some Violet Botanical skincare. So Demarcus and all of his wonderful friends, when they're out there in the water, sampling water samples and their hands get a little dry and ashy. Or if you're a person that has eczema, you can get some great all natural relief, no microplastics involved and through Violet Botanical skincare. Look, we cannot guarantee that yeah, there are no, nowadays, that. like he just told us, there the are micro packaging and everything else. But right. that's his field of study. That's why he's getting paid the big bucks to go to school and educate us about those things. So that means that when you're on our website, blindguyhiswife.com, Violet Botanical Skin Care, all you have to do is click the red button there. It takes you to the website. You're shopping with a discount. Body butter, scrubs for adults, teenagers, children. It's safe for all ages. Speaking of clicking on stuff, while you're on the Blind Guy His Wife uh, website, go to, make sure you click the green coffee cup. So she can say, what you doing? I can say, girl, you know what I'm doing. I'm going to do like Demarcus and stir it like whale chitlins. Yeah. So when you're there, definitely click the green coffee cup. Scroll on up till you see it. Click it. It opens a widget. You can choose to purchase one coffee, three coffee, five coffees to support this production. Corey is blind. His eyes don't work. He's been blind for over 25 years. So we always type in 25 coffees. Leave your name. Say something nice and see how you're supporting the production. All proceeds go to our nonprofit, our 501c3 nonprofit organization. Sneak peek, sneak peek at the plant-based tree. Oh, absolutely. We always want to encourage you to eat more fruits and vegetables every day at every single meal. Not because we're fruit hoodlums or vigilantes, plate popo, meal time marines, <laughs> or supper time security guards. We're plate advisors. Mm. Oh yeah, I, I would agree with that. We are plate advisors. We just want you to uh, get your food that's going to nourish you, get all the vitamins and nutrients, and plants do it. You so, know, vegetables, fruits, get those every day. If you're like Demarcus and you're going to have well chitlins for lunch, then make sure you use, eat some seaweed, some kelp. Make sure that you include some spinach in there, some tomatoes. Make sure you a well chitlin salad. And now this particular dish, you can put most of those things. You, I wouldn't do seaweed and spaghetti, but you can do uh, spinach onions, a lot of different things. I'll show you a sneak peek at today's plant-based treat. Meaty plant-based spaghetti. Mm, and it's meaty too, without any meat, but it's meaty, okay. All right, so you guys, make sure you hashtag the home team because we're about to set up and ride in the first place pony derby. A lot, rights. a lot of people have put in hashtag the home team, Corey. Uh, are we bringing Demarcus back in to yeah, help us with DeMarcus the first place pony? To help with the first place pony. Come on back in, Demarcus. All right. Hello again. Welcome back. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing just fine. <laughs> You're just right. in time for the first place pony. Now, Demarcus, we're going to talk to you while we do our first, give everybody a chance to, to hashtag the home team for the first place pony drawing. Now, you started your academic career as an undergraduate student, of course, like most people, and then you go into your graduate studies, but you had an interesting way of getting into the position that you're in, specifically at Florida A&M. And that all started while you parlayed and valeted with the cars <laughs> and conversations when you were working in college. Absolutely. So tell us Absolutely. how that started. So that started um, back in, I want to say 2019. And um, 
it was like any other day. It was a, it was a busy day, what we call the ramp. Uh, I was working at the Norfolk Waterside Marriott in the downtown area. And, you know, I was, you know, a lot of what I do is to watch the ramp and to take care of the people on the ramp with anything that they need. And I noticed that there was this lady who was having trouble. And, um, I, you know, we started chatting and I told her a lot about my background. I told her I was going to be graduating about a month or so and getting my bachelor's degree. And she said, well, you should meet my husband. He's a, a professor at Florida A&M. I said, oh, sure. You know, I would love to meet him. You know, I have met plenty of professors at Florida A&M. But then he introduces himself as the president of Florida A&M, Dr. Larry Robinson. Um, mm -hmm. And anybody that knows Dr. Larry Robinson, he has a very extensive resume and he's very distinguished and um, probably one of the most humble people I've ever met. And so he gave me his card and he told me to apply for the organization and um, you know, let God take care of the rest and handle the best. And here I am today. <laughs> yeah, Demarcus, you. So, yeah, go ahead and ask this question, Corey, because I'm going to show Dr. Larry Robinson on the FAMU. Uh, wait, what does FAMU stand for? For so the A&M University. Okay. A &M University. You know, I'm, I just always say the acronyms. So, <laughs> Office of the President, this is Dr. Larry Robinson. You didn't know you were talking to his wife while you were doing ballet. She's just chit-chatting as no a clue. normal person. <laughs> Yeah, and the cool thing about it is, Demarcus, as people can see, you're a great conversationalist. And a lot of that has, I know from early, we worked with you from an early age when you were a young, young youngster. Then a lot of that comes from your theater background and with your mother and your family. So talk about how that, how those types of skills help you to have these great conversations while you were parlaying and ballet. Because you know, Andale is listening, Corey. And she mm -hmm. has grandchildren. She's gonna. She's she's already put her daughter through college. Her children, her daughter's son. She's got grandchildren that she wants to advise. So go ahead, let us know. Well, okay, you know. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. So from my background um, and how I'm able to not only be such a good conversationist when it comes to networking events, presentations, and even some of the the, the collaborations that I have to do and working with the team. Started at a very young age. I started acting when I was five. I started working, of course, with you and Corey on certain productions and working with uh, local companies like the Hurrah Players and uh, my mom who had who was the assistant director for the RICO program. And what it allows me to do is think on my feet because in a lot of shows, uh, you know, things don't always go the way that you want uh, multiple steps back. Um, <laughs> and you <laughs> Yeah, look, look, Carla Turner says it's that good home training. So that yeah, things training. don't always go the way you want. <laughs> exactly. And you have to think on your feet. So um, I had to already be in work mode when I met um, the president's wife. Even I didn't know who she was. I had to treat her like she um, was any other customer. Um, you know, it's all about taking the position of a servant. Um, mm -hmm. Even as an actor, you are serving an audience. As a scientist, you are serving a community. You know, as a person, you are serving your neighbor. And so that's how I choose to see it. And that's how I was always taught to serve it. Nice. Right, this right, is right. this is some good stuff because, you know, having a heart to serve means it's going to reciprocate. Gail at night is dropping those uh, NOAA CCME related funding opportunities because we were showing the website for the office of the president, Dr. Larry Robinson. You were talking to his wife. Parking ballet, she's acting like, oh, my husband, you know, it's just um, talking to him a little bit, having a conversation. But then once once Gail dropped these opportunities, this was before you were, you know, get these this link that Gail dropped. This was before you were even involved with Noah, right? This is what got you into Absolutely. this opportunity. It actually led to the opportunity. I was a month away from um, graduating from Norfolk State University with my bachelor's of science degree. And I knew that I really wanted to get my master's degree at an HBCU, but I didn't know any HBCU that had the field that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. And, you know, lo and behold, here's the president who is not only the president of the university, but is the director of the NOAA CCME, which stands for the Center of Coastal and Marine Environments. And so uh, it's a CSC or a cooperative uh, science center. And they have a lot of these programs set up to provide a lot of these opportunities for scholars, for students, um, for, even for volunteers who want to have their hand on preserving and protecting the environment. Right. right. So that way, when this is good. So just so you all know, I'm just scrolling down to show you click on these member institutions. Uh, when you get to this page, CCME, NOAA CCME, or the NOAA Center for Coastal and Marine Ecosystems, that's what that stands for. Of course, you can get plenty of information at the top. Oh, there I am. Yeah, DeMarcus is right there <laughs> on the front. Oh, that was cool. So as the slideshow is going by, we see him. 
featured right there. And this is so good because when we go back one page, they do give you your own profile page. That's in the link, you all, so you can click there. And then when you click on the logo at the top, it takes you here so that you can scroll down and click on the member institutions for fellowship and internship opportunities at these different universities. Jackson State, Bethune-Cookman, what's CSU and B-Corp? You got me on What's, that. Oh, wait, okay, Texas A&M, A, here's the Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi, the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley, and I'm not good with acronyms, so I'm going to just okay, leave. That's all right. CSU is California State University, and the MB is Monterey Bay. Ah, oh, okay, all right, thank you, thank so you. So this is, this is good. So lots of opportunities all over the place, and David Hunt says, always serving. That's good. That's what I'm talking about. Carla Turner says, that's my baby. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get these horses running for the first place Pony Derby. So make sure that you hashtag the home team. They put it in there. As long as Andale got it in there, we ready for a winner. Andale, I'm not saying you're going to win because David Hunt already put it in. So did Carla Turner. Uh, Sandra uh, living a full life. Make sure you hashtag the home team because she was like, yes, get them good greens in when we were talking about the plant-based treat. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to help us with the first place pony, Demarcus? Absolutely. All right. All right. So Demarcus, I am going to make the horse race announcement. And when I make the gate bell sound, bring, when I say bring, what you're going to say is, you're going to say anchors away. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Wait, wait. Do y'all even use that term I mean, anchors he's, away? He's out on a boat, so. All right. Well, you know what? Valerie Singleton got it in there. She says, greetings from Atlanta, Georgia. Hashtag right, the Valerie. home team. <laughs> and Andale, I'm ready to win. <laughs> All right. Here we go. You got the unrigged, uh, unbiased, randomized selector up there. Yes, right, it's ready. Go. Good morning. Dun, 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 Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another run of the blind guy, his wife, their life live. First place pony derby. All the jockeys are mounted and in position, ready to ride. Bring anchors away. Hey, they're all, all right. We got brown coat blue by Renaissance Grandma Philip Walter Jr. It's the same for living a full life. Cassandra Dominic, she stole my thunder. Brown coat blue, David Hunt, Cassandra Dominic, brown coat blue, and Dale Holmes, Cassandra Dominic, Carla Turner, David Hunt. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> all right. <laughs> in Massachusetts. Okay. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Congratulations. He's riding on a horse with a New England Patriot saddle on it and won the race. <laughs> Man, I just knew Valerie had it. Uh, in there, she came in from Atlanta, Georgia. Philip was greeting her. She stole my thunder, put it in again. But David Hunt came in for the win. All right. So, so now you know what David Hunt always says is rigged. So I'm pretty sure he won't say that today. Look at that <laughs> one. He's <even> congratulating him. <laughs> so is my Renaissance grandma Carla Turner's congratulate. How are you gonna say it's rigged? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> My Renaissance grandma and Ann Dale is congratulated you. But how is it rigged, David? And she stole my thunder agrees. I, it's rigged. I mean, congrats. Uh. <laughs> David Hunt is an amazing vocalist. He sings. He plays a numerous instruments. But piano is uh, the one that he has his YouTube channel. So thank you for dropping that link, Gail at Night, to David Hunt's channel. And look at Sandra living a full life. Yeah, David Hunt mm -hmm. <laughs> came in for the win. Can you join everyone uh, in congratulating David Hunt, please, on winning the first place pony? So, Demarcus, go ahead, congratulate him. Congratulations, David. I, I believe you are sending me off to take scuba lessons. <laughs> no, not I appreciate really, that. Not, not that one. He's not. Dude, he's only gets bragging rights with this one. So, oh, we yeah, we're gonna win the sec Yeah, we're gonna see who the, the person gets to decide whether you take scuba lessons or not. They oh, okay. missed the second drawing. So, oh, well, wait, you missed you out on that, David. You wait, you don't scuba dive yet, but the last no. giveaway, if they they can choose whether you go ahead and go for the scuba dive diving lessons okay. or not. Okay, Mary Mari Poju is saying, Yay, congratulations, David mm -hmm. Hunt. She might have a premiere coming up soon. Like I said, she's about the money. A lot of Mary Mari Poju's videos are about uh securing grants, educational grants, business grants, personal grants, some of everything in between. So David Hunt is congratulating David Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> with Corey. Congrats again, David. Right. So, <laughs> He'll congratulate himself. So, Demarcus, we're going to pop you back into the uh, into the virtual green room. I've heard that there's a, a virtual uh, massage therapist. There's that CD looks like, back there, right? That, look, that looks like Lapita Nyong'o. She's going to be back there waiting <laughs> and, and giving you uh, seaweed, seaweed to uh, eat while she you know, does your shoulder massage. Okay? Okay. I appreciate it. All right. All right. We'll see you soon. 
you know, we should have asked him that. Does he eat a lot of seafood since he's working with sea animals and working with the sea? But anyways, are we heading into our coffee break? We're heading into our coffee break. Guys, we're talking about cash and college. Funding, funding your education and getting paid to perform as a student, to be a scholar mm. with DeMarcus Turner. But it's time for a coffee break. You can be part of the Blind Guy, His Wife, Your Life home team by, of course, going to the Blind Guy, His Wife dot com webpage and click in the green coffee cup click up, click up, click up, click up, click up. but you can also do what our sponsors did you can actually become part of the blind guy his wife the home team so that we can say <clears throat> this broadcast is brought to you in part by promotional considerations paid for by the following unmuted sponsor absolutely we are excited to have sponsors and we're going to thank them right now with this one minute coffee break so sit tight and enjoy our sponsors they are unmuted, Corey, FYI. All right. Supreme Sponsors, David and Christine Brooks. Supreme Sponsor, Dr. Linda Bailey Hayden of Elizabeth City State University. Supreme Sponsor, JDWR. Check out his YouTube channel. Supreme Sponsor, the Cherry Hill Music Festival in Baltimore. Supreme Sponsor, Tryon Palace of New Bern, North Carolina. Supreme Sponsor, Jamestown Settlement. You or your company can become a sponsor. Visit blindguyhiswife.com. All right, everybody. So you can join the ranks of sponsors and show mm -hmm. your support for Blind Guy His Wife by going to blindguyhiswife.com and becoming a sponsor. Well, it's time for us to bring our special guest in. Thank you for joining us on this episode of The Blind Guy. His wife. Their life live here for you every Wednesday. Thursday. Friday at 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Introducing you to fabulous guests who change your narrative of normal when it comes to your health. Your business. And your wealth. Now, keep in mind, this is a one-hour talk show. We're almost done. Only about 20 minutes left in the show. And there is a giveaway coming up. Today's special guest is no exception to the fabulous guest rule. When it comes to understanding the ocean and the ocean animals, Aquaman has nothing on this guy. When it comes to being a professional of water science, a submariner can't do a thing to touch this guy. Who is submariner? He's the DC version of Aquaman. Oh yeah. I think. Or is he the <laughs> I don't know Marvel my version of Aquaman? But nevertheless, you just messed up my flow. So let's start over again. <clears throat> when it comes to understanding aquatic animals, there is none other than Aquaman can't touch this guy. When it comes to this understanding the science of the sea, Submariner cannot come close to comparing. When it comes to be understanding the professionalism and the power of plastics that, and how they affect our ocean, Poseidon must bow down to this gentleman. When it comes to understanding the environment as a whole, I'm gonna go to PBS on this one. The wild crats can't even get with this dude. Well, Dorian well, Explorer, Diego, none of those, none of those, none of those characters can understand the environment like our guests can today. When it comes to OPP. When it comes to OPP, other people's profits, nobody can get naughty by nature can't even get down with <laughs> our guests today. It's time for today. Special guest, super scientist extraordinaire, Demarcus Turner. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Corey, I may have to get you to record that for my voice, Miller. Son, I'm, I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Brown Coat Blue was over there laughing. So, somebody's loving this, and they understand all the Marvel comics and DC comics that were in there. But she stole my thunder, didn't answer. Aquaman is DC, Submariner is Marvel, right? Hey, yes, so somebody you. knows something. Well, Demarcus, we talk, We compared you to Submariner. We compared you to Aquaman. We compared you to Poseidon. <laughs> we compared you to Wildcats, Diego, Dora, all those wonderful uh, shows that talk about environmental uh, sciences and or the sea. So right now, we talked about earlier how you're, you're, you are doing valet parking and the cars and conversations that happen. And that led you to be introduced to the president of the Florida a and University, who happened to be in charge of the NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, uh, 
scholarship fellowship funding that you are actually part of. So that basically turned out to be a three hundred thousand dollar tip that you got that day parking cars. Mm. So you parlayed that. Into oh wait, when we say three hundred thousand dollar tip, that's like how much you've been you've received in educational funding, also mm. in stipends and fellowships, and then in internships. Yeah, and all research opportunities, travel um, to conferences and events, training. Wait, you getting flewed out? Flewed out all the way. <laughs> Round trip. Ooh, the market has been flewed out. He's so. What is what is this three hundred thousand dollars allowing you to do right now? Yeah, welcome to the show, Aqua Mariner. I mean, the market is still the same. <laughs> so, Miriam, when you said you getting flued out and all the internships, fellowships, and research opportunities, she's like, yes, so mm -hmm. <laughs> she's Nigerian, so you got to say it like that. So, mm -hmm. tell us about it. How how you've been able to use these opportunities? How you found out? about them um you know has this been part of the educational process are you seeking these opportunities and how can other people find them? yes yes uh wow y'all give me a lot to really talk about um so i found out about this opportunity straight from the guy who was leading him himself dr larry robertson um mm -hmm. before meeting him at the the marriott and then while I was valeting, I had no idea that this opportunity existed um, because one thing I probably should have told you is that it had always been my goal and always been my dream to work with Noah, um, you know, at the executive level, at the administrative level, as a scientist, behind the desk, as a researcher. And so to find out about such an opportunity was pretty much a, a godsend for me. And so, mm -hmm. um, but these opportunities are rampant and available um, from different organizations from NOAA to the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, to USGS, the United uh, States Geolog Geolog Geological Survey. Mm -hmm. These opportunities are specific um, to uh, different types of minority groups. My, um, the Funding for CCME comes from the NOAA EPP and MSI department, which is the educational partnership program for minority serving institutions. As you saw, all of those universities are HBCUs or historically black colleges and universities. So when you I can't say remember the, the other questions you asked. Yeah, no, you're yeah. you're on point because yeah. I have on the on the screen right now, Gail at night has dropped the link, the NOAA CCME related funding opportunities. Mm -hmm. You go right there and then to this link, it's in the description, it's on the screen, it's in the chat. So you can always click on it from the chat or wherever. And what you're saying is that when they go there and they scroll down, these are the institutions that you just mentioned they would go to. Uh, they can click on those to find out those, you know, other opportunities for themselves. Internships, fellowships. Um, did I miss anything, Corey? You know, internships, fellowships, research grants, all those types of things are there and available, you know, through these resources. But I know we were talking about you getting flewed out, but what have you been flewed out to do as far as your research is concerned? Yeah, because David Hunt, yes. he's got to run. So David is, I guess he's still walking. He ain't getting flewed out anywhere. <laughs> Ethiopian air, him and Philip. So tell us about, uh, and you know what? Carla is saying, thank you, Dr. Larry Robinson. So definitely tell us about how Dr. Larry Robinson has been instrumental in you getting flued out. Where'd you go to? Uh, what kind of conferences? Is this where you're doing those presentations that you were discussing? Um, you know how you we have your presentation on YouTube that we've linked to. Has that been part of this, all of this? How is this all related? Go ahead. There have been so many opportunities that have been given to me um, uh, through Dr. Larry Robinson and FAMU and especially through NOAA CCME. One of the first ones is that we had a center-wide competency training in St. Augustine, Florida, where we spent uh, three to four days training or um, finding out more about the organization, our place within the organization, what it, we can expect when we finish our research, when it comes to publishing, what we can expect when it comes to working in the workforce. Um, I've been a part, I'm trying to remember the conferences, at least two or three conferences I had an opportunity to um, get flown out for, spend an entire week on. Um, I attended the AJ, AGU conference, which is the American Geophysical Union Conference. And that was in New Orleans where I had a great time and I was able to uh, co-mingle with some scientists um, there. And um, I just recently, last month, I went to Grand Rapids, Michigan to uh, join the JASM conference, which is the Joint Aquatic, Joint Aquatic Meeting 
Yeah, Joint Aquatic Meeting. I think I'm saying that right. It's, it stands for something. It's a Joint Aquatic Sciences Meeting. There it is. Um, where I got a chance to collaborate with people who primarily study freshwater or um, the freshwater sciences in, in that regard. And I got a chance to not only network and find out about other these op other opportunities, I got a chance to actually present some of my work. Um, there is also a forum that NOAA CCME does where we get together with all the different universities and all of the other science centers. And I was able to present my findings and my work that I've done so far. And so um, it's just been uh, truly a blessing uh, to work with them. Also, I had the opportunity to work under my advisor on a research cruise where we uh, did some sampling in the Gulf of Mexico. And so that was in a partnership program with uh, Florida State University and the Florida Institute of Oceanog Oceanography. Wow. So you got, you got, so basically what's happening is you are getting paid to not only finish your education, but you're being paid to build your professional resume so that when you walk out of this program, you're ready to be employed by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, Administration Association, NOAA. <laughs> Or you know, or pursue a number of careers with a loaded resume. So that's that's got to be a great feeling knowing that that's going to be where you're going, to, how you're going to be positioned. Now, you, just so you know, Corey, I do have on the screen his YouTube presentation on microplastics in the uh, Apalachicola River. So, uh, or oh, I might have might have said that a little wrong, but anyways, basically, it just chronicles everything. There's all the details here. He's his voiceover because I don't have the the sound on, but he's talking over the whole thing. There's so much information here. So well, earlier, I bring this up because earlier G. Albert asked if you teach and you were like, nah, I don't really teach. But bro, you got a whole entire presentation. <laughs> you've just explained to us some of the other ways you've been out here educating others. And this is beautiful. And it's all paid for because you got this $300,000 tip paying it. And it might be increasing <laughs> that time. It might be 350,000. I don't know. All I know is that Philip is like, man, all I want is the 299,000 <laughs> tip. So go so, ahead, Corey. I know, and we get, while we're Oh, talking, Miriam was off to her premiere, Corey. While we're talking about this last uh, talking point, we get everybody to hashtag Demarcus. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, hashtag Demarcus Turner. Hashtag Demarcus Turner. Now, here's the thing. Uh, Carla Turner says, shout out to scientist Alvin Simmons in Charleston, South Carolina. Environmentalism runs in our blood. So is that a family Absolutely. member? Absolutely. That is a family member who I didn't. I, I thought I was the only scientist in the family, but I found <laughs> out shortly after arriving in Charleston, South Carolina, that I had a cousin who is a, I would say, a pretty phenomenal and well-known entomologist meaning that he studies bugs and the association between um, insects and plants. You know, mm -hmm. he works with the United States uh, Department of Agriculture. He does okay. a lot of working with them. And um, he had been telling me about all these amazing uh, projects he's working on right now. He's working on a, a multi-million dollar project. And he had uh, he's meeting with a, a minister from Egypt and just doing one of the all of these wonderful things. So I'm just so glad that I got a chance to meet him. And he had some very encouraging words for me as well. All right, so nice. it's all in the family, all in the family. <laughs> now, so so everybody is everybody is uh, have putting in the hashtag because there was one more giveaway. So in order to win, they're putting in hashtag Demarcus Turner, and it doesn't matter if it's highlighted. I mean, if it's capitalized or not, just put it in. But it is in the in the ticker. If you see scrolling at the bottom of the screen, all of his links that we've also put in the description as well as in the chat are right there so if you need to know how to spell demarcus turner look right down there and thank you audrey willis has it too go ahead corey so demarcus you, you talked earlier about you know you have a passion to serve and that's what kind of led you to have that great conversation while you were doing the valet parking which led you to the three hundred thousand dollar tip which is currently funding your master's education and research at florida a m university through a, a, a fellowship program offered a sponsor by noah but your passion to serve goes beyond what you're doing right now and you're looking to the future to actually start a, your own type of foundation to encourage uh students like yourself to get involved in the sciences and the field of sciences so what are some of the initiatives that you want to work on once you get to once you get through college and into your career uh, one of the first things that I work on is a nonprofit for third world countries who don't have the resources that we have and restoration projects uh, a lot of because um, uh, we don't think about uh, you know the work that it takes uh, like 
events like Hurricane Katrina um, that devastated these environments and the work and the billions of dollars that it's poured into these organizations in order to bring that back to a economically sustainable culture. And but a lot of these third world countries don't have those same resources. And I want to use not only those projects as nonprofit um, opportunities, but also research and education opportunities for students who can come in and get hands on work and understand what it's like to be in the field, understand what it's like to go from the field to the lab and understand how do you go from the lab to the paper and get published uh, for these uh, these uh, opportunities. You know, and I want to have a foundation set up. Um, primarily for environmental accountability, environmental sustainability, and environmental education and management. All right. Nice. I love it. Foundational funds for the people that need it. So you're saying people in different countries. Have you been flewed outside the country? Or are you doing conference and presentations? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. This will be the next step. <laughs> right. So, you know, and that's another thing I wanted to ask about the uh, the foundation part. How does that work? I know that you know, if you want to start your uh, foundation, you're basically going to be presenting some of your own initiatives as well. While you're doing the internship and the fellowship, are those opportunities that you can ask for? I need to go to these other countries. So that way you can kind of go on somebody else's dime, get a big, get a feel for where you'd like to go, where the need is. Is that something you can ask for now? Have you explored that? I have explored it and there are many opportunities and even fellowships where um, you can become an international student where they encourage you not only to go to these other countries, but learn that country's language so you can have a, um, a more of a collaboration between different societies, different centers and different cultures when it comes to creating sustainable environment. Because nice. the, the pollution, especially microplastic pollution, is not a particular country's issue. It's a world issue. Yeah, because you said it's in Antarctica, it's in that, um, it's in the South Pacific, it's in Greenland, Iceland, everywhere from just around the globe. So here's the thing. Uh, you're saying, okay, I am in school. I got this $300,000 tip, so I'm paid. I'm getting uh, cultivated and I have these opportunities to make sure I'm a professional. But we know you from, like Corey said, as a theater artist, as a person in school being educated, but you were like a regular person and, and you're different now. And I know you <laughs> said, cause you're talking like a boss, like, not like a boss, but like a leader, like you're, you're, uh, you're a thought leader right now. You're a leader just in your actions. And I know you talk a lot about uh, your coach because that this is impacting you as well. So tell us a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Um, this has been my coach and my mentor for the last year or so, Dr. Darius Daniels. And I'm actually a part of his coaching and mentor program mm -hmm. that he actually just reopened. You know, he's had reopened this uh, particular mentorship program three times over because it's so full of people who are hungry. Um, and that particular program is called Daniels then. Um, and not, mm. you know, because of his name, but it's based off of the Bible character, Daniel, who um, not only was a character, but also a person of history, who, um, of course, was a part of what I'm a part of is working within the government, working in the administrative role. And it's all about, um, you know, the four pillars that we talked about is how you become a uh, leadership intelligence, we talk about relational intelligence, we talk about spiritual intelligence, mm. and we talk about emotional intelligence, because those are the four things um, that we need as humans to function in the seven sectors of society. Whether you work in education, whether you work in arts, whether you work in the government level, whether you work in law. And so um, he's been very instrumental and impactful to how I present myself, how I posture myself. I also have to give a shout out to my pastor, Pastor Prison of the Power Church, who has done a lot of uh, investing in me in the spiritual intelligence side as well. Mm. And so it's just been uh, amazing work coming from those young men, of course, coming from my wonderful mother, who is a scholar herself in her own, in her own right. And so it's just uh, seeking out those opportunities leading. and never... Your mom is leading by example, in other words. So Carla, shout out to you. Absolutely. <laughs> and of course, we got your LinkedIn. Thank you, to, uh, Gail at night. All of these LinkedIn, uh, when you go to LinkedIn, you can get to any of the other articles that we've dropped, but we have them in there for you. So you're Demarcus Turner on LinkedIn, D-E-M-A-R-C-U-S, Turner, T-U-R-N-E-R. -E so uh, Philip is saying, sweet, Daniel's den. So keep on, you can finish with that. I interrupted you. Oh, no, you're good. And so it's a great mentorship a company. Very thankful for them. Um, and so I never want to be satisfied being where I am when I know I'm capable of more. 
And so it's all about uh, tapping into the potential, not that I place in myself, but that God has placed within me to serve not only him, but serve the people that are within his kingdom. Nice. All right, all right, Good stuff. Right. So this is just amazing, uh, DeMarcus. This has been um a good time learning about how we can get all of the money that we need. Uh, Darius Daniels, we did drop his link into the chat. Gail is dropping all of the different links for you. Um, we've got everything listed. I think it's time to vote on. To do the drawing, to see who's gonna win the right to make the de decision for DeMarcus, whether he takes <laughs> scuba diving lessons or scuba stays on dry land. Yes, or it's a one hour show. Land. Yep, we're at the top of the hour. Now, you, you said you're, you've are you been a, str a, a strong swimmer in the past. You used to love swimming. These yes. days, it's not your strongest point, but you got to get back to it. So this might help you, right, scuba diving? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's definitely something I've been wanting to get to for a long time now. Okay. All right. So, Corey, how are we going to do this giveaway? So I'm going to say three, two, one. And Demarcus, you're going to say... Anchors away. Multiple, nope. You say multiple steps. Multiple steps. Oh Lord! <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke from my theater world. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, so uh, Demarcus, if you are ready for this, now we got to make sure everyone has. I'll, I'll pull up the share screen because I think Mary Marty Poju is uh, finished with her premiere so she might come back and put in your name hashtag demarcus turner but carla turner says that's right my favorite line get off my payroll so proud of you that boy got his own money uh, <laughs> and uh in the coaching program thank you gail at night for uh listing that as well and dale is showing some love all right corey we're i think we're ready all right three wait 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 I okay. said I think we're ready, but uh, I'm ready. I'm ready for real. All right. Three, two, and one. All right. Multiple steps back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. And Dale, Cassandra Dominic, Audrey Willis, Philip Walter Jr. She stole my thunder. Carla Turner, Philip Walter Jr., and Dale, Audrey Willis, Philip Walter, Cassandra Dominic, Philip Walter Jr., Audrey Willis, Philip Walter Jr., and Dale. Hey. <laughs> All right. She did and say she Dale, wanted to win. And Dale, you can type into the chat. Mm. Does the Marcus take deep, take scuba diving lessons, which is what I call purposeful drowning for research purposes? You know what? <laughs> or does he just stay on the research vessel and, and just use the tools to go down? Oh, so put it on in. Congratulations to you. Carla is congratulating Andale. And so is my Renaissance grandma. How is Andale clapping for herself? Mm -hmm. You know what? Yes, Mary Mighty Poju is back. Let me tell y'all, Mary Mighty Poju just did a premiere <laughs> on million dollar grants for nonprofit organizations. It is closing soon. So, Demarcus, I know you want to start your nonprofit. You might want to get on over there and uh, take advantage of her premiere <laughs> opportunity. Absolutely. Or just follow her channel and that way you'll be able to uh you'll be in a better position but you're already set you're in the leadership realm and dale has already answered yes take those <laughs> <laughs> all right well demarcus before we put you backstage we got two things we want to ask you one one was, wait was, one was that rig because she stole my thunder says and the whole said congratulations oops uh definitely rig i mean you go girl well deserved <laughs> So, Demarcus, first thing, what are some, what's the final thought for someone that's looking to continue their education and to do it with other people's profits? What is somebody, what, what advice would you give them? I would give them the first thing is go do it. Don't think about it another second. Don't think about how nervous you are, how filthy you are. Go mm -hmm. get up and go do something. Go talk to somebody. Go speak to somebody. You never know unless you ask, you know. And, um, right. you know, one of the most impactful things that my parents have always taught me is that the worst that a person can say is no. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, just uh, get to know somebody who is within our organization, um, because not only are those opportunities that you see available in NOAA CCME, but those each and every one of those universities have their own fellowship, assistantship or scholarship opportunities as well. Um, but one of the best ways that I feel that most people get this money by building a relationship before they even apply. Mm. for those opportunities so get to know them send them an email send them a phone call uh research um what they have done in the past what studies that they have done one thing that you need to know about scientists scientists love when you talk about their work so when you talk about that work on the front end and then you apply of course they're going to remember your name because mm. you know some of our scientists have egos you know and we love when, when people kind of rub our ego and make us feel a certain type of way 
Beautiful. Right. Now, I love it. Our second question is Marcus Turner. What fruits, vegetables, or whole grains have you eaten today? Today, I have eaten, of course, in addition to my black coffee, I've eaten pineapples and strawberries. And I keep them at work because it gives you the sugar that I need to uh, sustain throughout the day. So I don't fall asleep in the whale chitlins and keep my face out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to fall into the whale chitlins. Exactly. And that's a good thing. Have them accessible. Have them somewhere where you can, you know, easily uh easily get to them and you said pineapple because that's good for vitamin b6 copper thiamine folate all those b vitamins also potassium magnesium niacin uh iron so many health benefits with pineapple so that's just one of the things also make sure i had my oats and uh uh, my oatmeal and my bananas today you know to make sure to get me started this morning as well Oh, yeah. Right. And yeah. you know, the oats, are, they have those avanthanthamides. That's a, it's an ingredient that only, well, only a few foods have. And uh, avanth- uh, oatmeal is one or oats has those as well. And that's one of those things that's uh, really good for you. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to, uh, I think I'm saying it right, but it, it's basically um, one of those things. It's one of the uh, phenolic acids. You're a scientist. I'll just let the people go check it out for themselves. Yeah. The point is, just eat the oats and know that they're good for you. Amen. <laughs> right, Marcus, we're going to put you backstage and then we'll bring you back as soon as this broadcast ends to say thank you. But definitely, it's been great having you on the show. So we'll pop you backstage for more virtual victuals in the green room. All right. Sounds good. All right. All see right. you soon. Corey, you know, she stole my thunder, has had her hot leaf drinks or hot tea. So, and he had his black coffee. People try to use beans. Like, isn't the bean, isn't the coffee? Oh, a- <laughs> yeah. But either way, everybody was congratulating uh, Ann Dale Homestead. Thank you, Gail, for dropping her link because she won. Uh, thank you for dropping all of those resource links. They're in the description, y'all. Click on them, go to them, tell a friend, all of those things. How do we get to our plant-based treat? And now it's time for today's plant-based treat by Chef Loquita Marie. Getting you to eat more fruits and vegetables every day at every single meal. Here's a good one. Meaty plant-based spaghetti. This is about um, a half a rutabaga that I chopped up for the spaghetti. I usually cook this a little bit, maybe about seven minutes before I add the other vegetables. Rutabagas help to prevent the onset of type 2 diabetes. They promote strong bones and help regulate blood pressure. Two carrots, two stalks of celery, two onions, and two cups of red cabbage. Red cabbage has lots of antioxidants that's good for eyes, teeth, and bones. And based sausage that I actually made. Check out our other videos to see how to make our plant-based sausage. Here's some air fried tofu that I froze. Health reports show that tofu helps to put the brakes on cancer. There is some water down there at the bottom of the pan. Add half a cup of water to soften the vegetables. Mommy added more plant-based sausage and tofu. It's optional. I'm just going to show you what this looks like before we add the spaghetti noodles. Nothing special, no pasta sauce. This is the pasta sauce. Just the vegetables and everything before I add the sauce. You like it? Mm-hmm. Hmm? What's up? It's good. This one tastes good with the noodles too, but it's good. Okay, so I just added like a half cup of water to get all the residual out of there. Mmm. Yep. It's better than the last one. The last one was very good. It's good. Like. As a former meat eater a few months ago, I really enjoyed the spaghetti. I love the plant-based sausage. It tastes just like sausage. And the tofu tastes just like chicken. It has a bite just like chicken. A lot of people say that. All right, guys. Getting more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains into you at every meal. You know what Mary Maldipoju is saying? Wow, looks yummy. And I've inspired her to eat healthy. You know, DeMarcus is thinking, not DeMarcus, Lord, Philip is thanking DeMarcus for sharing today. (laughs) Oh, Miriam has lost 11 pounds out of a 17 pound weight loss goal. All right. Congratulations. Hey, we got to welcome y'all to the weekend. We are done with this one hour. We appreciate your time. We appreciate your comments. Talk to us in the comments and let us know if you have any other funding opportunities. Mary Maripoju has dropped plenty and so has our guest today, DeMarcus Turner. 
And guys, tune in next week for more great interviews and more great fun with you, our guests. As we bring on a celebrity of her own rights, it was Gail Lockett is coming in talking Ooh. about how she's taking multiple streams. Now, Gail at Night, that's her channel name. She is taking on multiple what? Talking about how she's taking on multiple streams through YouTube, professional moderator extraordinaire, plus she's got her own monetized YouTube channel. Absolutely. We'll also be meeting my gun range instructor, Mr. Doug Doug, the number one Doug Hughes. So if you all are wondering how Corey goes to the gun range, scroll back in our old videos, you will see Corey at the gun range with Doug Hughes, Doug, Doug, the number one thug, as Corey calls him. And we're also <laughs> going to have a visit from the B Force Accelerator, the Black Brands, Hampton Roads Chamber, Black Chamber of Commerce, the, Mr. the one of the founders of the, of the Black Brands business. It is Mr. Brian Owens himself. So that means about how you can get funding and create and build a stronger business so that you can be more profitable. Absolutely. So. Let's say goodbye for now and welcome to the weekend, everyone. We're going to say goodbye to you guys the way DeMarcus would say goodbye to someone that presented him with a bowl of well chitlins. He would say, deuces. <laughs> deuces. <laughs>